Hi there, it's Laura here with MakingCardsIsFun.com and in today's video, I'll be showcasing Hello Bluebird stamps and dies. A while ago, I saw Hello Bluebird pop up on my Instagram feed and I immediately fell in love with their cute and quirky designs so I decided to showcase them in today's video and I'll even have more videos coming up with these lovely stamps. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do some basic masking. So I am starting out by stamping my first image, which is the tulip from the springtime stamp set from Hello Bluebird. When you're doing masking, you have to remember that you have to stamp the image you want to be at the front first. So that's why I stamped the tulip first, and now I'm stamping it once again on some masking paper. I'm going to use my EK Success Cutterby scissors to cut that flower and then I can just cover it up and then I can stamp the second flower. Masking can take quite a lot of time since you have to fuzzy cut all of the images but I just really like this technique because it's easy especially when you're going to be creating one layer cards because masking can really make a difference um, for these type of cards. So I stamped the second flower behind the tulip since we masked that off and then I can just fill up the scene with other tiny images from the Hello Bluebird stamps. I'm using the butterfly and the tiny flower from the springtime stamp set from Hello Bluebird and then I am stamping the watering can and the bunny from McGregor's Garden. I'm stamping the watering can over there since I'm going to be doing some masking because I want it to look like the bunny is holding the watering can. So since you have to stamp the images you want to have at the front first, I just stamped the watering can individually, then mask it off, and then I can just stamp the bunny on top of the mask and then once I peel this off it will look like the bunny is holding the watering can which I think is just simply adorable. Now that I stamped all of my images it's time to color them. This time I am using Copic markers. For the first flower I am using R24, R22 and R20 and I repeated this um, these steps twice uh, to get some really good shading. Then for the leaves, I'm using YG67 and YG23. And then for the yellow flower, I'm using Y19, Y18, and Y13. I always start out with my darkest color, then move on to my mid-tone, and then I blend everything together with the lightest color, which is called the highlight color. I wanted this flower to look like a sunflower, so I am coloring the center with some shades of brown. I'm using E27, E57, and E55. So there we go. Next I'm coloring the butterfly with R43, R20, and R11. So it's just a really fun color combination this time. I'm actually giving this card to my mom since it's Mother's Day um, very soon and I wanted to surprise her with a really cute springtime scene since I know that she loves flowers and cute images and she also really likes these colors. So I used a um, light color, I used E0000 and R11 to color the inside of those bunny's ears and also to color its little nose. Then for the actual fur of the bunny, I am using the Colorless Blender first just to make sure that I will have some really light shading. I'm only using NO since I didn't really want a grey bunny, I wanted the bunnies to look white. But I did want to have a little bit of shading and some dimension, so that's why I used NO with the Colorless Blender. Also adding some blush to those cheeks with the E0000 marker and then for the little nose I also used R11. For the pot I am using YR18, YR16 and YR21. 
And this is a really nice combination for orange colors. I had to look or I had to do a lot of research to find a nice um, combo for orange. Um, but I finally found it. Then for the watering can, I'm using Y04, Y02, and Y000. Now that I have my colored images, it's time to create my own pattern paper. I'm using the Country Gingham background stamp from Hello Bluebird to create my own paper. I inked it up with Versmark ink and then I am going to put some pressure on my paper since I want a good stamped impression and then I can sprinkle on some wow opaque bright white embossing powder. This is the super fine version by the way. Then I'm using my heat tool to melt that embossing powder and then next I'll be adding some color to this pattern with my brand new Distress Oxides ink pads. I purchased these a while ago and now I'm finally using them and I'm just really loving these. Here I'm using Squeeze Lemonade which is my favorite Distress Ink color available and then I am going to stamp a sentiment from the springtime stamp set from Hello Bluebirds. I'm stamping it with Versmark ink on some green cardstock from Basil and I'm also sprinkling it with sprinkling on some um, opaque bright white embossing powder from Wow. I heat set that and then I can trim that with the tonic guillotine trimmer which is my favorite trimmer out there the blade is really sharp you'll get a really sharp and nice cuts crisp uh, impression every single time and the blade is self-sharpening so no need to replace it and this probably sounds a little bit like a commercial or something but i really do love it and it's really my favorite trimmer out there so once that Distress Ink was completely dry, I went ahead and adhered it onto a standard size note card with my ATG from Scotch. And I'm adhering the stamped scene on top of the pattern paper in my cardstock with foam adhesive. I also stamped, colored and die cut a little bow and a little flower from the springtime stamp set from Hello Bluebird. And here I'm just adding some sparkle on there with a tonic Nuvo Aqua Flow pen. And I'm going to add a coat of crystal glaze from Tonic just to add some dimension and some extra sparkle to these adorable critters from Hello Bluebird. So that finishes up my card. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to check out my blog post for more information. And I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.